What's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is Shogun Episode 4 of Season 1. It's a based on a book. I wonder if there are more seasons or if this is like one and done. Um, there. Well, hmm, that's a good question, actually, because I heard that the book is fucking massive. Like, But I've heard that at the end of Episode 4, you're like 65% of the way through the book. Oh. Yeah. I've heard that it trims a lot, but that it keeps everything that's important. Well, then I probably would imagine it's one season, but... I, I know there are sequels, but I wonder... Uh, yeah, I just don't know. Uh, if you want the following through action, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly, but this intro is over because the show's good and we want to get into it. Fuck this. This sequence was so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my lord would like to race you to the shore but i warn you not to let him win my lord hates that apparently in the book this is a big deal because in japan it's considered like i don't know there's they have very strong feelings about not going into water feet first oh yeah oh, okay interesting so it's like a Didn't nice like that. scene from the book but without some of the context that you get from a book being able to kind of explain the backstory of it. right yes because that would feel like a an aside, I yeah. think. Yeah. I'm so curious to read the book now, though. Mm. I also, like, wondered, like, because, like, the onsens, I know, are such a huge part of Japanese culture, like, yeah. what, like, what, like, bathing with another person says about your opinion of them? Like, going into Not water? Not much. No, it doesn't matter? Okay. I don't know. It might have at different times, but nowadays it just the the onsens you just get in. There's just lots of lots of naked men in one room and lots of naked ladies in the other. <laughs> hmm. Wait, no, go back to the dog. <laughs> oh my god, this poor guy. His boss's boss's boss is coming into town with like an hour's notice. Yeah. Yeah, he brought out his like finest clothing for that. Yeah. yeah rad god i love the onsens i'm excited i know we have to get a private onsen at least one night sure because we'll most of the time will be split right yeah, yeah yeah for sure we have a whole month we can take at least one day to mm -hmm. i like that i can look at the titles in the show because i'm not allowed to in one piece oh okay. apparently they spoil the episodes in the titles that's so weird i know Look at that fucking outfit. What the fuck? Just a year. She'll give you six months. あ、いいよ。いつも見つぼじゃ。お。俺を少しでも押し上げる。ことここに至っては直ちに切腹されるがしかるべき策にございます。私の首もどうに繋げたままにしておこう。虎永様。I <laughs> 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 All loyal to Toranaga-sama. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, middle management okay. pulled it together. Let's, Let's go. go. Boss is on his way. Pull out your best outfits. People showed up to show out. ご体力がなばかりとなった今父上の首には途方もない値打ちがございまする野心を持つ見方は味方ではございませぬふんボイスマートアンジン様、this <笑> <laughs> 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 
That's great. That is skilled diplomacy. Mm-hmm. Well, what a speech! It's it's about the air, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Mashika, you need to get on the right side quick, cause Tornaga's not losing this. Not fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> the way this show is managing to center women's points of view within the patriarchy of the world at the time is really smart yeah. there's a lot of great comedy coming from the women mm -hmm. so that they're not just like fading into the background of yes, scenes yes everything here has been prepared specially by your staff my staff I told you to take the wizard's stuff. You have been given a home, a generous salary of 240 koku a year. I don't want any generous cuckoos. And Fujisama as a consort. That's a great line. Well, I'm sure she's very nice, but I don't want a woman. I don't wish to pillow her, or pillow on her, or near, or do any damn pillowing at all. <laughs> In any case, she will look after your house and your servants, handle your financial matters. To refuse would be a terrible insult to our lord. <laughs> it took a lot of preparations to get all those people together. Yeah. He's not wrong. That woman and Marika are going to have a conversation by the end of this episode. <laughs> it's not customary for one's consort to sleep while he's awake. Well, it's a foolish custom. We wouldn't survive. She's my late husband's niece. Accomplished and highborn. Well, that's absolutely wonderful for her. <laughs> <laughs> her husband had insulted Ishido Sama. Yeah. And something had to be done in order to prevent bloodshed. It's just a weird argument for why you should have sex with her. I don't know. Beneath it all, we could be a great distance away. Safe and alone. Bam. All right. That was a great speech. Mm -hmm. There's some damn good writing on this show. Yeah, and she's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I like her and Tornaga are the two like. Mm -hmm. he, he's awesome as well. Like everyone's killing it. Yeah. But Tornaga and Marco are like, just. I'm just so interested. Emmy should be nominated for Emmys next year. Without a doubt. Tell this milk tripling fucks me. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Some great insults on this show. Yeah. Tipo. Oh, hiki tori kudasarimasen. <laughs> <laughs> I like her so much more now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this poor guy's like, I put on the fucking show of the year last year. And he just in left. Hours notice. Yeah. I got everyone together, and now I've got to put up with this bullshit every day. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder what the purpose 
of her not touching them is? Cleanliness, probably. Maybe. He asks about any tactics our enemies might not yet know. Right. Tactics. <laughs> He's just gonna start making shit up. <laughs> Every man in his 20s thinks that he could make up great tactics on the fly. It's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you might start again. Except this time, describe a battle you have actually fought in. <laughs> Not a great deal of infantry battles at sea. He's like, I've been honest the whole time. Yeah. I've never lied to you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys make some weird assumptions. Anchor my ship and cannon within a few thousand yards. And your army could breach the castle walls without so much as an arrow splitting oh. to graze their cheeks. <laughs> Tactics now, nah, I started blasting. <laughs> Honestly, though, like, if you can go from being totally inaccurate cannons to accurate, that's such a massive leap. Yeah. God, I kind of love, like, a walkout house like that. I know. That's cool. That's, I, I, like, I always love warm places because, like, I love the rain. I don't like... Bugs would fuck you up, though. I know, I know. I don't like rain all the time, but, like, watching the rain mm -hmm. makes me happy. Kudasai. Kudasai. Hi. Why is it that, like, being taught a language makes you fall in love? It's intimate. You get to know each other really well. Yeah. It's also such an easy way to show time passing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, like, any media. For sure. No, I understand the point of it. I just find it. It, it is a very, like, funny trope that I enjoy. That kimono is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. There are other ways. I could help him. My Erasmus is a single ship, but a fleet would be something else entirely. That's where it came from. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize that. Oh my god. <laughs> it's funny when things are just back there. Mm hmm And it will be useful for you to be reminded that we are at war, both your lord and my queen, and it happens that we have enemies in common. <laughs> A modern navy, ships built for war, would be to his benefit. You have no idea what is or is not to my lord's benefit. I don't know, that ship seemed pretty useful mm. for getting past that blockade. Yeah. What the hell was that? Just obey the earthquake. A, a, a baby what? <laughs> there are also tsunami that come from the sea and fires that break out in the villages and cities. Typhoons. Before you meddle with our politics, just remember, we live and we die. We control nothing beyond that. Well, okay. That was a baby. Yeah. I've never felt an earthquake. Oh, really? I've never felt like a real one. I've only felt like a, like, jostle. Mm -hmm. You know, an earth, oh, an earth jostle. Mm-hmm. Good for them. <laughs> Lover of love, shipper of ships, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's playing some game. They're married, right? She's not a consort? Oh, I thought she was. Oh, no, mistress. Nope, never mind. Yeah. Because she's the one who seduced his dad. Right, 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 right. Right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he wants to, like, betray him to fucking Torinanga, he might be. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see. And also, that's it. Wouldn't they? Hmm. 
like, would they have a finite amount of ammunition? Because they can't make it here yet, right? I'm assuming it's whatever was on his ship. Oh, fuck. Time to use the cannons. Turn around every now and then again. <laughs> uh, this is when you, like, shoot the cannons at the targets. Oh, Toronaga might not be the one to start this war. This is the problem playing both sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. その守備をお伝えくだされば、天の大名がお父上のお力に恐れいるはずでござる。せいぜい恐れ入らせてもらおうか。お父上を裏切るなどと疑われただけでも不愉快千万。拙者はお父上のためなら命も捨てる覚
That was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. London. A city like Osaka? Well. It's dirtier. <laughs> Sit down for a stuffy dinner. And then to make up for it, I take us all to see a play. Do you have plays here? Yes. Yes, they're very long. <laughs> they're quite sad and tragic, mostly. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> all the ways life seems to leave you wrecked. They all just disappear. And then you are free. Oh. That was beautiful. She carries pain in her eyes so well. <sighs> yeah. That was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And this, like, this cinematographer shoots firelight it's unreal. Unreal. Like, nothing I can think that I've ever seen before. Yeah, it's just, I, yeah. The fact that this was all shot in Vancouver is crazy. Mm. <laughs> He's just fucking out. This shot implies someone's coming in, and it's either Mariko yeah. or an enemy, and I don't know which one it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, right? Mariko. Anjan's gonna be fucking Catholic by morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautifully shot. Well done. Rain is very beautiful today. E. Rain. E. 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 <laughs> e. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Spirits? <laughs> Can't imagine why. The courtesan was acceptable then. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> that was a very thoughtful gift. That eightfold fence, it's crazy, man. It's crazy <laughs> what goes on back there. Yeah, wow. I am so worried that Toranaga-san's son is about to fuck up something so badly. Yes. Absolutely. That's exactly what's going to happen. I know. I'm getting that vibe. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, that was violent. Wow. Holy shit. It's bad. Really bad. That was one of the most violent shots I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. That was just viscera mm -hmm. flung around. Like, wow. wow. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm sweaty. Yamashiga is... <gasps> has to be on Tornaga's side at this point. There's simply no way he goes back. <laughs> 
I mean, after that, after Josen's not gonna come back. He's not gonna be like, oh, you were you you. I'm sure that you were doing the right thing the whole time. Like, <laughs> yeah. His side was just chosen for him. Yeah, and you know what? He's probably better for it. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Just commit. Weirdly, you know, commit. I just love this show so much. Wow. It yeah. is so, so good. good. Did you notice that like the um like the the bed scene was just like basically one shot. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that was so well done. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cuz it just kept the tension like like at at peak for like the entire time mm-hmm. when she left, closed the door. Yeah. To when yeah, and so to, well done. And to, like, keep that nudity obscured. Yes. Because I'm fairly certain the actress playing Marco probably has a no nudity clause, right? Um, uh, for, for them to keep that obscured mm-hmm. in a one shot where people are moving around is a accomplishment. Like, yeah. it's really an accomplishment. And yeah. it was so sensual and so well done. Mm-hmm. The, but uh, to contrast with the other sex scene where it's more was which, which was more aggressive mm-hmm. and that had more like visual nudity in it yes but was about a man being manipulated yes. right and so it, it, it is interesting the wit in which this show is playing with the dynamic of sexuality yeah um there's so much power given to the women on the show which mm-hmm. I really appreciate I think yeah. that it's a really smart choice mm-hmm. without it being like unrealistic to the time yeah like it this show really spends an equal part of its runtime showing n- not women you know kind of what 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 people would complain not I, I don't really give a shit about it as much but what what people on like certain sex of twitter would call like woke writing right where like yeah. women are where you kind of forget about reality mm-hmm. so that the women on the show will have power right mm-hmm. and i'm I, I enjoy that more and whatever we'll have taste right but in this show they're really playing the power that these women have within this society within the constraints of it yeah and because of that i think they're actually telling a really interesting story about just how powerful you can be within kind of a society that doesn't want you to have power which was a big theme in blue eyes samurai yeah obviously like there's so many parallels between these two shows Um, it is interesting that two shows so different right like one is very much this animated action modern kind of music kind of thing and then this is very like period and very slow and you know doesn't try and lean too much yeah yeah but they're they're both from the same period of japan at the same time coming out around the same time and they're both masterpieces i actually think they're about a hundred years apart almost i thought it was like 60 i could i thought this was like 1602 and that was like 1660 no i think this is like 1560 or something like that and then it was like 1650 or 60 i mean they're both dramatizations but oh of of course of course but like the fact that they're both I, in my opinion, and like we're not even halfway through the show, but I'm already like this is kind of a masterpiece to me. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. Is it's 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 wonderful. It's mm-hmm. it's wonderful writing. This I keep harping on the cinematography, but like I harping just on. it's amazing. <laughs> I well, I just keep saying the same thing over and over again. I'm blown it's, away. It's hard to like. I'm not a cinematographer, and I'm not the best at complimenting it because I don't have the lexicon for that. Mm-hmm. But I, I've done. I've worked in the industry enough to look at it and be like, oh, like. This the is way tough. in which fire like, <laughs> is, they're, 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 they rely on f- pure firelight a lot yeah. in a way that is giving the show so much different coloring. And this episode, I really noticed the costumes. I thought some of the kimonos this episode were so beautiful. Yeah. The scene where Fuji pulls the gun on the fucking guy. Like, I was like, that's amazing. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm like, it is, it is fun. I really love just being in awe for an hour. You know what I mean? And that's what this show is to me. Like, it, I feel like I'm... It is so good that it feels worthy of awe. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I love it. I'm, I, I, and it's not pulling any punches. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is as beautiful in the firelight scene as it as is... As it is brutal, brutal. Yeah. in the blowing up bodies. <laughs> but by... But, like... The tone of it is 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 consistent. Like, mm-hmm. I don't feel like... I don't feel like it's... Because some of the stuff we've been watching lately, I've been like, the tone of this is all over the place. Yeah. Whereas this, like, the tone of it is so consistent. And what I really love about that cannonball sequence is that the 
cannonballs at the end, mm -hmm. the reaction this show spends the most time on is Marco's. Like, that's where the the camera is so focused, right? Yeah. Like, Anjan is in, in the side of that shot, but yeah. it is about her response to that violence yeah. after we have just learned that there is this horrific violence in her past that she's trying to find some sort of, like, you know, revenge for. I'm just, yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Blown away. Wild. And, and like an episode with mostly, like, Toronaga gets that fucking amazing speech at the beginning, but then he's gone the rest of I know. Of he's like, and I'm out. Well done. And his absence hangs over everybody's decision. Yeah. Right? Like, he's such a huge presence. And in three episodes, they built the character up enough that you're like, oh, of course he is. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that his presence overshadows everything. Oh, for sure. It's just wonderful. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> how how do you not just shovel Emmys into this show next year? I know. You know what I mean? Like it's it's it might be hurt a little bit by the fact that it's coming out in Well, actually no, the Emmys March. are in a different cycle. Cuz the Emmys are in no, the summer, yeah. right? No clue. Um so I, this might actually no be the perfect idea. timing for it cuz like this if Marco's not nominated, their Emmys are doing it wrong, and yeah. if um Tornog is not nominated, they're they're just doing it wrong. Like they those two are they're they're incredible performances. Cinematography has to be nominated. Yeah. Costuming fucking has to be nominated. Yeah. Unreal stuff. Yeah. It's so good. Like, I'm just... <laughs> we have, welcome back to six more episodes of us going, wow, this shit, this shit's really good. Unless it, like, falls apart at the end, maybe, maybe but, like, the, the... I doubt it. The book's a bestseller, and the... And the there's vision a, is there's so like clear. A, that, but there's also a miniseries that is apparently mm -hmm. also really good. Oh. So, like, it's, it's, like, it's one of those properties where, like, there hasn't... There's no version of the people like, don't watch this version because it's bad. Yeah. It's not like Avatar where you're like, Avatar the Last Avatar, don't watch the M. Night Shyamalan movie because it's not good. Yeah. You know what I mean? It seems like every version of this has done well. Mm -hmm. um, but this, I, I my understanding is that this is the version that has had the most actual Japanese input. And I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a negative thing to say about it? Leave it in the comments down below. I don't. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm like... I'm in. I am on board. Like, I am. Uh, ten seasons in a movie. Sold. Let's go. Yeah, right. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Why Why would you? Leave mean comments down below. That one can be about me. Uh, oh, because the algorithm got us hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is the woman who got fed the dick. Uh, that wow. is going to be. <laughs> well done. Mariko. Hey, she took charge. Yeah, she was like, yeah, you know what? This, this sounds this sounds like fun. She's like, I don't want anyone to know about this, so shut the fuck up. These walls are literally paper thin. Yeah, but... I don't know how anyone could have not known. Like, you just I moving don't know. around. I think, like... I think Fuji just does not want to... Fuji just lost her husband. She's like, I don't give a fuck. You Marco better. also just lost her husband, but, like, that was different, you know? Yeah. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can have at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye. Bye.